it's time to commission you. I really believe that we're supposed to commission you. Now, if you don't want to be commissioned, then you should leave. Because this might mess you up. You get a prophetic commission, like, I don't want to move forward. Like, that sounds scary. Like, then you probably should leave. I don't mean, I don't want you to leave. Like, I'm not like angry, like, leave. I'm just like, I don't want to create some kind of connection to your destiny. And you're like, I'm unwilling. No joke. I'm unwilling. So at least you should stay seated. Maybe that'll say, maybe God will leave you alone. I don't really know. But, but if you stand, I'm going to commission you. And if you're at home watching, I'm going to commission you all too. I don't believe anything will happen. You'll be right then. For you. So why don't you just put your hands out in front of you like this. It's just kind of a, you know, give it to me, you know, kind of thing. It's just kind of a, like, Lord, I, I, I don't think I'm ready. Because I was going to say, say you're ready, but that would probably be lying because I doubt that any of us are. Because God's called us to greatness. You know, the most repeated word I've given people in the last few days, last, I'll oh, say a few weeks, you're dreaming too small. So, Lord, you told me I was supposed to commission these people tonight. I don't know if I would do it if I were you, Lord, but... <laughs> Sorry, this should be serious. So, Lord, I just release a co-mission that they'd be on a mission with you. That they would literally, that we all would be in submission to your mission and we'd be commissioned. And that we would move forward in destiny, in purpose, in prosperity, in wealth, and in power. In Jesus' name, right now. And I pray, God, for people who have been stuck. And haven't we all been there at some point in our life? Lord, I pray right now that you would unstick people tonight. Whatever that circumstance is, maybe it's a, a son or a daughter that's um, just not doing well, I pray that you'd restore families right now. I pray that you would supernaturally provide wealth. I pray that that job, that I, I'm just thinking that supernaturally God would provide, would switch the circumstances without your involvement. Because I feel like this is a, I feel like the Gideon story tonight, I actually was going to tell a David and Goliath story, to be honest. And, uh, and I felt like the Gideon story was more relevant because God so reduced him. And I feel like this room is full of reduced people that you think something's going wrong. And God's like, I got you right where I want you right now. And I actually brought you here tonight for this commissioning. And I feel like this is the beginning of a whole new lines of victory and some of you look back to this night and go something happened to my family lineage my son turned around my daughter's attitude changed my marriage got better like i i think it's going to be beyond what you could do like you're right now you're holding out your hands in my mind it's simple right it's so simple it's like breaking the jars and lighting the lamps and blowing the trumpets like seems to have nothing to do like no no i need to do something and the lord's like you do this i'll do the rest and so, Lord, I release unreasonable miracles towards purpose and destiny over every person tonight that hears this even later. I pray that there would be an anointing even on the message when it gets repeated. And people would connect to it and something would happen. It would be like my bathtub experience. I'd suddenly know that I was created for greatness. And it wouldn't be an arrogant thing, but it'd be something where I know you chose me. How many know it's one thing to be asked, it's another thing to be chosen? And I believe that God puts you here tonight because you're actually chosen. Like, maybe you would think, I don't even want to go tonight. Then I heard Chris is speaking, and I thought, I have to go. <laughs> so I bless you in Jesus' name. And I just know I had to do this once tonight, but can you just say, I received that for myself? I receive it from my children. 
I receive it from my children's children. children. That what happens tonight tonight would shape my family tree tree towards God's greatness. greatness. That I would live live to to start a legacy that would actually change the world. That I be part of a tribe tribe. that's called called to speak to kings, to to prime ministers, ministers, people of influence, influence. in every realm of society, society. to move them towards the king king. and his kingdom. kingdom. In Jesus' name. name. Amen. Thank you so very much.